Assalamu alaikum, I'm the program director of the Advanced Cardiac Imaging Program here at NICVD Karachi. This is a two-year program that is multi-modality. So the first year is spent primarily in echocardiography, learning the various techniques such as transthoracic echo, transesophageal echo, as well as stress tests including bike echo, treadmill echo, and dobutamine echo techniques. Uh, following this, we start adding nuclear imaging for about six months. The second year is primarily spent in advanced techniques such as cardiac CT and cardiac MRI, while we continue to develop the fellow skills in intraoperative transesophageal echo as well as structural guidance and intra-op structural guidance TE techniques, including 3D TE. So during the echocardiography training, our fellows get exposed to various different um, techniques such as scanning transthoracic echoes. They then pre-read and review the echoes with the faculty on PAX viewing stations, followed by learning how to perform transesophageal echoes both in the echo lab as well as in the operation theaters and in the cat labs to guide structural procedures such as TAVR and atrial septal device closures. The fellows also learn how to do exercise stress echo and dobutamine stress echo. We also make them learn how to do bike echoes in patients to evaluate for mitral stenosis and other valve diseases. One of the biggest strengths of our fellowship program is the sheer volume of patients that comes to NICVD. We see almost 300 patients a day for transthoracic transesophageal echocardiography and our annual volume is over 100,000 when we include our satellite centers. Similarly, we have a large volume of nuclear scans, cardiac CT scans and cardiac MRIs. The, the fellows see a wide variety of pathology and every single day they see pathology that they've never seen before. For the nuclear rotations, the fellows rotate through the nuclear department where they learn how to evaluate the patient using the appropriateness criteria. They learn the details of how to get a patient scanned as well as sit and interpret with the physicians. For the cardiac CT rotations, we have the fellows pre-select the patients and then scan the patients and pre-read with the physicians and generate a final report. During their rotations, they learn the details of how cardiac CT and cardiac MRI are scanned and sit and evaluate and read these studies with the, physici with the physician readers. In our setup, there is a lot of flow of patients uh, for non-invasive imaging and as our uh, supervisor who has come from uh, America, she is so brilliant and genius that she has supervised us and taught us amazing things, amazing experiences and so much about uh, new knowledge and 3D, 4D, CT and uh, nuclear imaging. The concept of uh, well clinic is the greatest one which has revolutionized the things in our setup because we are learning so much from her that it's fantastic to be being here. Asalaamu As Alaikum. I'm working as a post fellow at NICVD uh, since uh, two years and I'm about to complete my uh, cardiac imaging fellowship at, in the cardiac imaging and uh, I have been working in the trans uh, thoracic echo department, trans esophageal, cardiac CT, nuclear and uh, I am continuing here at, as the advanced imaging fellow where we, I will be learning the CT, nuclear, CMR and uh, I would recommend everybody to join here at NICVD under the mentorship of uh, Dr. Sabavati. During my fellowship program, I have learned a lot and especially in the well clinic, we have uh, given a, a very good patient care, especially at the same day we are uh, uh, doing the transesophageal echo, we are doing the uh, CT and the whatever the surgical uh, inter uh, reviews needed or interventional reviews needed and uh, making a full decision about the patient treatment. And uh, from training point of view, we are also doing uh, not only the 2D echo cartography, 3D echo, transesophageal and stress echo and we are also doing the nuclear imaging uh, as well as the CT. 
We hope that at the completion of this multi-modality two-year fellowship, these fellows will be able to go all over Pakistan and help train other physicians so that the field of imaging can grow, the field of cardiac imaging can grow in Pakistan.